right, guys, so let's get started. First thing, I'll just open your pixel up and go straight to text. Let's write our two letters, A, B. Okay, so we're going to go to fonts. And the font I'm going to be using is Devil Breeze. This is it down here, but I'm going to show you guys the entire family font. So I'll search Devil. So the thing is, the font is Devil Breeze Bold. So this is the entire family font. The link will be in the description. All right. So that's what I'll be using, Devil Breeze Bold. Devil Breeze. So I'm going to give my text a black color. Yeah, so this is not bad. Uh, next thing is I'm going to take two shapes, two circles. This is one, make it black. The next one should be white. And I want to form a shape just like this. Okay, I want something like this. So I'm going to merge these two. This is what I have. Now, next thing is I go to erase color and I take that off. So, I'm going to rotate this to form a nice curve here. Add to my letter A. So, I can go to crop. Anyway. Now, next, I want to take a, a shape. Square. I'm going to rotate this. I want this button should be up. Extend. Because I want to erase a certain part of it. So, so i want to take a perfect alignment down here okay so my target is here at the bottom of this i want a straight line so i'm going to be moving this up a little bit line is not perfect yet but by one point i'm moving it by one point so there we go now i'm going to merge the new shape that i created with the two circles and the new square together so the square is white and then i'm going to go to erase color and i take it off so now i now have that cool line through the letter a now i'm going to merge a b and that little guy in the middle of letter a merge the text and that so this is what i have now cool next i'll take two other circles one black a little bit bigger put it in the middle the next thing is i need another so i said two circles right okay there we go so I can make this circle a little bit smaller. Or let me enlarge, yeah, a little bit like this. Then I put it in the middle, centralize like that. So this is going to depend on you though. There's no specific setting for this. So I'm going to put it like this. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Then I'm going to merge these two and erase the color as well. So we've been doing a lot of merging in this design. So this is now what I have, guys. And then we'll have our AB down here. Put it in the middle, take the circle, put it in the middle like that. So this is what we have. So now I'm going to merge all of them. So we now have one single shape. So our logo is coming up. Now I'm going to add a texture to this. So go to texture. Texture is right here. Click on it. So the gold texture I have is this one. Okay, this is my gold texture so i'm gonna select this texture take okay open texture and then click on enable when it say maintain ratio click on enable so i'm gonna enable this so this is what we have next going to go to 3d to start doing our editing here let's go to 3d 3d shape activate go to oblique I'm going to turn on the turn off the light yeah light angle like that that's it so sometimes when your 3d breaks you just need to go turn off the light so you can see my 3d is not breaking no more but so we'll do that oh sorry about this let me get back to 3d open then we'll be using the oblique so i'll turn off the light where is it here okay now let's go to the setting the depth of our 3d why am i doing this mistake the depth of our 3d should be at one perfect so the we're going to darken it to about 71 71 72 73 not not too bad 72. then the oblique angle should be 233 three. Yeah, okay 234 now next editing we're going to do is under emboss so we're going to edit the emboss 
so this is what happens to time your emboss can give you those lines you try to adjust the shape a little bit so this is what happens when you go when you do emboss okay so open the emboss button go down to your bevel should be at five bevel at five spectacular hardness at 70 ambient light at 80 intensity should be at 90 okay and the light itself let's say something around 35 okay so that's it for emboss the next thing we're going to go to is shadow so let's let's go and do with shadow right here activate shadow blow your radius to about eight okay work on the offset of the x-axis should be minus six the y-axis should be at four now that's perfect design is done so all you got to do is maybe add some little background so i'll go to my background click on from gallery now take this cool wall and i have my design cool mock-up i'm going to put my design in front of it like this so that's all for it guys thanks for watching so if your uh, bevel or your emboss button if your emboss button is disturbing you please check the link in the description there will be a video that's going to give you step by step you know information how to fix that in pixel app see you guys in the next video